Hi, sorry, I'm actually uh, Maria Garcia. I just have really bad handwriting. <laughs> um, I had submitted a letter. Pam, please speak into the, oh, yeah. project it to the mic. Bring it down so it beats your mouth. Thank you. Hi, um, my name is Maria Garcia, um, and I will be a Spanish teacher at Massmonics High School. Um, after having taught Spanish at Spotsylvania Middle School for five years, we live in the Berkeley School District. Um, and between my husband and I, we have five children, uh, two who attend Robert E. Lee and three who will be attending Spotsylvania Middle School. Um, I definitely know how hard it is um, to homeschool your own children while also working from home. Uh, we have, again, five children, two of which who have ADHD and one who has autism and ADHD. Um, definitely wasn't the easiest thing. My husband total maybe helped out one day with homeschool just because he was still going on base to work. He's an active duty Marine. Um, and he, the joke is he won teacher of the month despite that. Um, just because of how hard it is and how frustrating it was. And I'm sure I probably wasn't the best uh, mom at that time because I was trying to both teach my own students um, at home as well as also working with my own students. Um, like I mentioned, my daughter has autism. I definitely think that special education teachers and math teachers should get a raise for the amount of patience that they have because between that and teaching my own fifth graders pre-algebra concepts as a Spanish teacher was by far some of the most difficult things I have done. Despite all that, um, I still do see that 100% virtual learning is our best option. Um, Throughout this whole entire time, I've had multiple family members who've actually contracted COVID. Um, I've had some who have lost their sense of taste um, and smell with no fevers. I've had some family members who have had fevers um, or just like minor flu symptoms. And I've had two family members who have passed away, um, both the great uncle and uh, a cousin. Um, the hardest thing I know for at least their family members was the fact that they were never able to mourn them. There, no one is there when you die. Um, you don't even get to have the body with you. You're just presented with their ashes um, afterwards. There's no memorial service, there's no funeral. Um, I love teaching. I love my students. I love being with them. There's not any part, there's not, there's a, every single part of me wants to be in my school, but I want to make sure that we're also able to do it safely. Um, the superintendent of Fairfax County Schools was interviewed recently by CNN. Um, and one of the things they were able to showcase was how much funding was put forward to ensure that staff and students all had access to PPE, that plexiglass was installed um, into public spaces. And I just wanna make sure that if we do come back that we have the same safety measures because I think we deserve the same thing that this county has. If we're not able to guarantee the safety of our staff and students, then I don't think that we should be able, that we should go back until that is in place. I don't think that um, we should only go back just to serve as childcare. And again, this is speaking as someone who is both a mother who's teaching her own students, her own children online, as well as also teaching her own students as well. So before you guys consider anything else, I would, um, as you saw outside, we had plenty of teachers who are more than willing to help advocate or push for funding, either from our federal government. You have a whole army of teachers that are willing to fight for us to be able to open safely. And that's honestly all that we ask for is that you guys give us an opportunity to make sure that we are safe, that our students are safe and our own children are safe. Okay. Thank you. Leanne Tate. 